everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to set pricing rules. Let's go to pricing rule interface. Before we set a pricing rule, we must understand why we should set a pricing rule. A pricing rules are the set of rules that govern the price shown for product listed on your store. These rules allow you to establish the profit you want to earn on each sales automatically. So it is necessary for us to set the right pricing rules for, for the listing. Now, turn on the Pricing Rule button. There are three modes Pricing Rules for you to choose. Set one that you want to use. You can, see, you can choose according to your requirement. The difficult increases from up to down. If you are a starter, we suggest you, you set a, a simple rules. Of course, it depends on you. Now I will introduce these modes one by one. The first mode is simple rule. You can calculate the product price according to fixed value, multiplier, percentage, based on a product cost. Now I will take a women a women dress as an example. This dress cost eight dollars. Here I choose a fixed value. Fixed value means adding a fixed amount to the product cost as a pro as a product price. Here I fill in the number of five. Then the product price will be $13, which is the total of product cost and the 5. If I choose multiplier here, that means multiply mul the supplier price as listing price. Here I fill in the number of 5. Then the product price will be $40, which is the total of product multiple 5. And if I choose percentage here and fill in the number of 10, then the product price will be $8.8. .8. Which is the total of product cost and the profit 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 percentage based on the pro product cost. Here are some other conditions for you to set. You can set according to your requirement. MSRP means manufacturer suggested retail retail price. It is only available for Shopify product. Tick Enable. Then you can use this feature. MSRP is calculated according to a fixed value multiplier percentage based on the product price. Here I choose multiplier here and fill in the number of 5 and use the simple rule of 10% profit, then the MSRP will be $44, which is the total of product price multiple 5. This is the MSRP. Enable a size cent, you can set a specific cent a specific cent value for the price of product. For example, I fill in double nine here. The product price is calculated according to this simple rule. Then the result will be 
8.8 dollars. .8 but in the listing, it will be sh it will shown 8.99 dollars. .8 it changes the number after the point as double nine. And the and the last one is supplier discount. Tick enable. You can set you can set a discount rate for different suppliers. It will affect the it will affect the product cost. Advanced ruler is similar like a simple ruler. The only difference is, is that you can set a pricing rule according to a cost range. Click this icon, you can add a pricing rule for a cost range. And click this icon, you can remove a pricing rule for a cost range. Here is the rest of range for for uncover the cost range, it promises all your product can be got, can be covered by a pricing rule. The last model is pricing formulas. There are two sections of, of pricing formula: store sections and manage formulas. On the store section, you can select one store and then give suppliers it on it own formula. All your store will be shown here. You can choose the one you want to set. Click this button to choose a pricing formula for the supplier. Or you can click a bulk change to give all the suppliers the same formula. On the manage formulas, you can add a new add a new pricing formula, or add it, or remove the the existing formula. Now let's create a new formula. Click add a new formula. From the new formula page, enter a formula name, and along with other details in this part. The listing price is calculated according to this formula. Just like advanced rule, you can set a pricing rule according to cost range. And here is a pricing rule for rest of ranges. To promise all your product, all your product can be covered by a pricing rule. Click remove to re remove this pricing rule, or click add additional range to add a pricing rule for a cost range. Fill in the pro profit, fill in the profit percentage number. And fill in the fixed profit if you if you need. Fill in the break even. Break even contains the channel fees, payment fees, or other fees may have. Tick here if you want to add a shipping cost to the listing price. You can set a minimum profit. If the total of profit and the fixed value is less than the minimum profit. The minimum profit will be used to replace these two parts. Here is a price calculator. You can use it. You can use it to calculate the product price according to the information you fill in. 
It is based on the pricing formula you set. Click Save to save the, the price formula. Then you can find it here. Back to stores, you can apply the pricing for uh, the pricing formulas to the suppliers you want to apply. After all set over, click save and apply to apply the pricing rules right now. Select a listing type to apply and click advanced option to select a store to apply. Then click apply. We can see the pricing rules has been applied successfully. And if you click save changes, the pricing rule will take effect at the next at the next monitoring update time. It will not be applied right now. That is all today. If you have any question, welcome to contact us through email or Facebook. Thanks for watching.